The line from today's carol is, Fear not, great tidings of great joy I bring to you and all mankind. Many countries have both a north and a south, don't they? Obviously, geographically. But they also have a north and south where between the two lie very different social and economic realities. In England's north, we have the endless levelling up debate. Dare I mention trains? In Italy, there is the economically strong, affluent north, Milan, etc. Yet it is far more disadvantaged in the rural south. In fact, most countries in the global south are characterised by low income and poor infrastructure. God, of course, will have no truck with such a regionalism, a division, on whichever point of the compass it lies. As the seraph's words sing out, fear not, glad tidings of great joy I bring you, and all mankind. And at this season we can surely imagine, perhaps more vividly than ever, the power of hope that Jesus does bring to us. Jesus preaches hope for the world. His constant messaging is one of union, sisterhood and brotherhood. A good collective word for these things is simply love. Jesus is the enemy of tribalism and of factionalism with resources. In the Gospels he readily criticises an adherence to petty boundaries and parochial thinking. Our wonderful carol declares Jesus to human view displayed. And when I think of Jesus, see him in my mind's eye, my hope is always restored. And the last stanza of our wonderful carol will be acknowledged by peoples from any who will listen. All glory be to God on high, and on the earth be peace. Goodwill henceforth from heaven to all, begin and never cease. Love is Jesus' song, a love that is for everyone who will listen to the rhythm. We should take our cue from the shining throng of angels singing so constantly.